All right, guys, I just picked up this little god house here. Um, it's, it's not a Lionel. I don't know what uh, the make is. There's no name on it whatsoever. It came with a lot of cars I bought. Uh, it's not mechanical at all. There's nothing attached to it. But at any rate, um, I kind of like it. It fit into my uh, my theme here with the military. Of course, I got a soldier on guard there. And um, I went online looking at all the, uh, the Lionel accessories last night. And I'm looking at these guard houses and... Uh, the uh, the uh, lights and the flashing lights and the bells and whistles, everything else that's triggered when the train goes by. And I can justify the cost, which is quite expensive, of all of the uh, the gadgets and all of the uh, accessories, but I cannot justify the cost of the switches that attach to the track. That is insane. It costs between $10 and $15. I've seen one for $24. I, I couldn't believe what I was looking at, $24. Uh, but I did see them as cheap as 10 that's still a ripoff, in my opinion. But if you're a, you're a purist, you need the Lionel switch, go for it, man. God bless you. Me, I'm not. This is what I'm going to do. All right, what you're looking at here is an old switch I took off of a heater. It was a safety switch on a heater. All right, simple pressure switch. Exact same idea, same design as the switch that Lionel uses, okay? This was on a heater. The heater was standing up. It made contact. If the heater fell over, it lost contact, and the heater would shut off. Okay? That's a simple uh, mechanical device that uh, a pressure switch is. Okay? I'm trying to describe it as simply as I can for you fellows that might not be aware of it. Okay? And that's, uh, it's really uh, very, very simple. So I got thinking to myself, you know, there's got to be a way I can make one of these got to be where I can make a bunch of these very cheap, close to nothing, and um, with what I have lying around. So, what I did was pull this business card out of the drawer and um, this uh, dance caretaker service character. I don't know who the hell he is, but um, I thought I'd give him a call, but um, before I did that, I folded his card in half, and then the light went on. As soon as I folded that card in half. Okay. Get the idea? The right side and the left side are not touching. They are touching. They're not touching. That's a switch. That right there you're looking at is a switch in the making. Okay. Now we take a roll of this tape here. This is electrical uh, coated tape. This is a uh, metal coated tape. Okay, I, I said that because I'm using it for electrical purpose. Uh, it will conduct electricity. It's kind of like tin foil with glue on the back. Okay, it will. It's a little heavier than that actually. Uh, it will conduct electricity. It's great stuff. You can get it at any hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere. All right. So, take the business card now. Now we take it to the next step. Metal tape. With a wire connected to it. Metal tape with a wire connected to it. That's an open circuit. That's an open circuit there. When you squeeze the two together, closed circuit, open circuit, closed circuit, open circuit. It springs right open. Beautiful. Close, open. That is the prototype for my switch. Okay. Now, my track is usually uh, screwed down all the way around. I loosened, took uh, three little screws out here, made this track a little, uh, little flexible. So then I put the switch in the middle here, and you can see there's a little bit of airspace between that top and bottom of that card. Very little, okay? Maybe, uh, I don't know, eighth of an inch, eight to a quarter of an inch at the max, okay? I had to play with the shim until I had the shim right, okay? This is just my crude first test run, okay? Not the finished product, okay? So, what I have here then, let me get on the right angle here to show you this to you. Light bulb over here, okay? 12 volt, okay? Press down on the pressure point here. Train comes down the track, hits this point right here where my finger is. Light goes on. When it gets to this point here, the light is off. I'm pushing down on that track. You see the light bulb is not on. Okay. Light bulb on. I'm pushing my hand down with pressure. Light bulb off. Okay. So, that gate 
or whatever you want, gate, flashing lights, whistle, it will go on until the entire train is passed, then it'll go off. It could not possibly, possibly get any simpler than this. We're talking about a business card, a little bit of tape, enough uh, tape on one roll to do a hundred of these or more, and some scrap wire. That's actually a scrap wire from an old uh, trailer uh, hookup, but uh, you can use any kind of wire, really. Um, the, th this, uh, the, um, the wire, you just have to be careful. You don't make it too bulky that it makes, you know, you want to keep this as thin as possible, you know. So, uh, you know, so your airspace, again, all you need is an eighth of an inch airspace. I, I don't think you can see this, but I'm telling you there's an eighth of an inch in there, airspace. And that eighth of an inch airspace just closes, and that light goes on. That's all there is to it. I run the train now. I'm going to show you it, how it works. Now, bear with me here until I get on the right angle here, if you can see it. Okay. And off. On. And off. Is it getting any simple in this, guys? On. And off. And that's all there is to it. Okay? I mean, seriously. Does it get any simpler than this? A business card you turned into a switch. Now again, I can't emphasize enough, this is just my first crude attempt at this, okay, I'm going to have to uh, play with it and get it right and tweak it, but uh, the fact of the matter is, it works, it's safe, the wires are on the inside of that card, so nothing could possibly touch that track, nothing could possibly touch that track, okay, and um, when you put the card together, you don't have to uh, cover the whole card with uh, the uh, the metal tape. You know, just a little square on both sides, just enough make the contact. I don't think it gets any uh, simpler or inexpensive than this. So, just want to share this with you guys, and um, you know, I hope you uh, found this uh, useful. Yeah, we'll be hooking this up to red lights. In fact, now that I mention that, flashy unit, baby. Put a flashy unit in the line, a couple of red lights, bingo. Okay, you got a crossing with flashing lights. And that's the story, guys. Okay. Thanks for watching, fellas. I appreciate it. Welcome your comments. Book them, Daniel.